Hi guys and welcome back. In this video we'll be looking at how to create a simple team system in Unreal Engine 5 and obviously we will make it work for multiplayer as well. So without any more further delays let's get started and in case you guys have any questions or suggestions just leave those down in my discord server. Link to that is down in the video description. So we'll be making use of actor tags to actually get this to work. I've started with the third person template here and we'll just be using the default game mode and stuff you can take over the team logic and the rest is going to be yours but we'll be doing the whole setup anyways so if i press play there's nothing here like you have one player so first of all just change your net mode to listen server and make the number of players two or more than two and select your player start and over here type in tags under the details panel and for the player start tag we'll not use this we'll just use tags actually over here just type in team1 let's say and we can just duplicate this by alt dragging this just make it face each other and this one we'll just set the tag to team2 basically every actor can have a bunch of tags and we can make use of those tags in our gameplay logic so what we can do now is create the widget for our team selection so create a widget and call this one team select widget blueprint and once you open it up just go ahead and add the canvas panel of course this is your creativity anyways but I'll just do a quick setup here so I'll just have two buttons one for joining team 1 and one for joining team 2 it's going to be simple like that I'll just center it up on the screen so change this to 0 make the alignment not 0.5 and this should be centered on the screen now we can go ahead and add in button I'll just add in a spacer and I'll add in another button and we can set the size to fill here and over here we can make this not 0.2 or not 0.1 just change the color to maybe red and here maybe something like a blue add in text copy it over paste it in over here what we can do is we can type in join team1 can copy over this text and we can paste this inside here and we'll call this one join team2 and we'll be making use of the click events now in order to actually create the widget and actually communicate with the server to spawn so we'll be using the player controller class so by default it's using the default player controller class so we'll create our own and we'll just uh, stick with this naming convention so we'll call it bp third person whatever in your case it'll be what you have in your game so bp third person player controller and on begin play we can just check if it is a local player controller and if it is a local player controller the reason we are checking this is because the player controllers begin play is called both on the server as well as on the owning client so if you don't call this uh, it's going to spawn multiple widgets on the server if you guys don't have an idea of what I'm saying you guys could try it out without this and then on the server if you remove the widget there will still be a widget on the screen because there are two instances of it basically anyways continuing with this so if it is a local player controller we are going to create a widget and this is going to be our team selection widget and we'll add it to the viewport then we'll also set up a spawn player function so custom event spawn player I think I misspelled that and this is going to be a server RPC make this reliable and we'll be calling the game mode function from this and for the input we'll just take the team tag so this is just to determine which team you are in so team tag you could use enumerations in this case and then convert it to a name or whatever anyways the logic is totally yours now we can set up the click events for the button so when we click button 0 that will be joining team 1 so we can get the owning player 
and we can cast it to our player controller cast to player controller third person player controller and we can call our spawn player function for the team tag we can set it to team1 similarly when we press team2 join team2 the same function is going to be called but this time it's going to be team2 for the team tag so we didn't give a space over there so let's just stick with that convention and not give a space here like just keep it consistent everywhere basically if you give team space 1 make sure you give team space 1 everywhere generally I don't recommend you give spaces but anyways now head into your game mode we'll be using that before we do that just set the default player controller to your third person player controller the one which we created under the game mode settings you could do that here as well and if you open the game mode we can go ahead and set up the spawning logic so create a custom event call it spawn player and you need not uh, create an RPC because the game mode is going to exist only on the server anyways so we'll need two inputs one will be the tag itself to know which team so team tag and over here we can also get the player controller this is to call the possess function because we want to change the pawn which the player has possessed so this one is going to be the player controller as simple as that now we can call in the spawn actor function all right and for the spawn actor function we can pass in a third person character the spawn transform is going to be the player start of the corresponding team a quick and dirty way to actually do this is to just get all actors of class with tag so the tag is going to be the team tag obviously and the actor class is player start and we can just get a random item in this array so get a random item so if I just type in random random array item and we can grab the transform of this so get actor transform and we can set that to the spawn transform then since we have our player controller reference we can go ahead and possess it so just to keep things clean I'm using a reroute here so we can call possess here and this will be our basic basic spawning logic so we basically spa spawn our player in the correct player start and we possess him through the player controller now over here we can get our game mode inside the player controller and we can again cast it to a third person game mode call the spawn player function now our player should spawn successfully and we'll just pass in self for the player controller now in the team selection widget everything's working fine this is going to work fine as well and even the third person game mode one more thing just change the default pawn class to none and just save everything go ahead and press play as you can see you get the widget if you press join team 1 you spawn in but the widget doesn't go so we'll just uh, do a simple setup for that as well so remove from parent you could do it according to how you want in your game so remove these widgets join team 1 and join team 2 okay but there seems to be one issue on the server you can't really control the character it seems to be some sort of a bug but I figured out the issue basically what's happening is over here uh, this cast to play controller returns false because the controller isn't set yet uh, internally so a simple fix for that is just to delay until next tick and check again and eventually when this reference will be valid our cast is going to succeed so if I just do this it will be within a few ticks so it's fine so join team 1 and now I can control him join team 2 let's say and now I can control him alright everything is fine now uh, we have set everything up but there is no actual team tag 
So let's create a variable and call this one team tag. The only reason we are using an additional variable is because the tags aren't replicated by default. So we'll be using a rep notify on a team tag variable in order to forcibly replicate tags basically. So the reason why I need the tags property, the tags is, re is because tags are available on actor classes in general. So you don't have to cast to your character when you actually need to apply damage or something. However, if you want to use this team tag variable itself, you will have to cast to this character class. So that's another uh, additional overhead. And if you're going to cast it anyways, you might not even need the team tag and stuff. So set this to rep notify and on rep team tag, what we can do is we can get this. We can get tags as well and we can go ahead and set the array element. So let's assume our index zero is our team tag. Uh, if you have something else, make it index one, index two, so on, your wish and size to fit. And we don't need this to be exposed on spawn really. There are a few issues with rep notify when you expose on spawn. So once this is done, you can go ahead and set team tag. And we'll just uh, grab this team tag. All right. And uh, now what we can do is we can have some simple logic to check each other's team tag and his own team tag. So we'll just add a small delay here and we'll just print out the tag. So print string and we'll get tag and we'll get the first index. go ahead and print that this should work so we join team one we get team one we join team two and we get team two and we are spawning in the right place as well now let's just set up a simple logic to actually check the other person's team tag so let's do it on left mouse button let's say this is just for uh, testing so what we can do is we can get all actors of class and we can get character oops character and we can do a loop and if it is not equal to self oops self we'll go ahead and print out the tag so we'll get tag And we'll get the first tag. So this is just some quick testing logic. Go ahead and press play. Join team one. And now if I just go ahead and uh, click, nothing really happens. So let's just check our logic here. So we just loop through this. Let's see if we get anything on false. So let's see how many are we getting. So we're getting only one. So in theory, something's probably wrong. Anyways, we'll, we'll just print out the tags. That should be good. So let's see what we're going to get. We should get both join team two. Oh, I realized we didn't join the team on the client side. So, so team two, team one. So team two refers to the clients tag and team one refers to the service tag and the same applies for the client as well. So our previous logic was actually correct. We didn't join the team on the client. Anyways, this is how you would set up a simple team system. Now let's say you had a damage system or something. You'll check if the tag is equal to uh, the current team tag or, or like if it is not equal to the current team tag in that case what you can do is you can apply damage if it is the same tag you could uh, you could say you could do some friendly fire logic or something in an action game that, that is and maybe in like I don't know depending on the genre 
you could have team logic like that like showing player cards like show, displaying the player name on the screen and stuff so stuff like that so that's basically it for this video guys thanks for watching if you guys did learn something new and enjoy the video make sure you guys do subscribe to my channel and make sure you leave a thumbs up on this video and make sure you guys do join my discord server link to that is in the description also down there is a link to my patron if you guys want to support so see you guys next time goodbye